Hello and welcome back to another pick a card reading. This reading is about the journey ahead so it may fit any situation you find yourself in. As always we have our three piles here. Group one is on the left, two is in the middle and three is on the right. Feel free to pause the video to choose your selection. The timestamps for this reading will be in the description box below along with the cards that I'm using and if you'd like a private reading there's a link to my Facebook page and you can contact me on there. I hope you enjoy your reading. Hey group one and welcome to your reading. If you chose the citrine crystal then this one is for you. So citrine is the crystal of abundance. It's also related and connected to the solar plexus and sacral. So mainly the solar plexus. So your power center, your personal power, self-confidence all of that sort of energy there so group one we're going to jump in straight away with the past energy for your reading it is a bit of a heavier reading this week for group one here you may be feeling that so we've got the three of swords the knight of swords oh sorry page three of swords page of swords five of pentacles five of wands seven of wands so then a big bunch came out so I just took them um because they all really do speak to something quite heavy and painful that you may have been moving through so we've got um there may have been some information come in recently or in the past that has um delivered a devastating blow is what I'm hearing that may be the case for some people but for other people it may have just been a decision that was made it may not be information it may just be a choice that was made um it could be yeah something revealed but there's certainly a situation here that has um, been extremely painful for you to release or move through. Um, we've got a lot of heartache. It could be um, somebody betraying you or a situation where you're feeling betrayed um, and feeling like a little isolated and abandoned and left in the cold. There may be financial struggles or um, just conflict with family or conflict within the workplace. I do feel like this is strongly around a relationship, but not everyone will take it that way. So please do take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But we've got here, um, yeah, you're definitely moving through a great deal of, of pain and stress and maybe a bit of conflict and having to possibly defend yourself against another person or um, maybe there was a connection that was, you know, really toxic. I can see sort of trauma bond energy here as well for some people. Um, uh, and there may have been a real reluctance to let go of the situation. One person or yourself is perhaps watching over the situation quite closely and trying to get answers and figure something out. But there, there also does, like I feel a bit like I'm burning up. It could just be because I just started touching cards. That does happen for me. But I just feel really hot all of a sudden and I feel like there's maybe there's been a bit of, maybe a bit of anger um, or, or like just... It, it, it maybe even for some people an extreme level of anxiety while you while you're losing control of a situation or feeling like um, there's no closure or you've been disconnected from something and you've got a lot of angst or a lot of this may be the other person you're dealing with as well but there's something to deliver perhaps and it's just been cut off and not able to happen that may be the case for some people but you're feeling like at the moment it looks like there's a real maybe even lack of direction for what, how to move forward from this like you're maybe still really in it right now and feeling really exhausted by everything that's happened mentally emotionally physically and not feeling really the motivation to move forward in life at all f for some people here i did see 333 on the recording at the time so there's, there's certainly a lot of, about this that is um uh, it's to do with I feel like a lot of this is to do with some of your own personal challenges within your own dualistic nature where you may um, struggle with two separate ways of being within self um, and one of those I think is that needs to grab control of a situation uh, and the other is the, the wisdom you have to surrender and let go and trust in spirit as, it, as this situation unfolds they feel like for some people it might be a little hard to connect to that um, inner guidance. Just at this time, it does feel a little connected and a little like you're alone through this or um, you may feel a little stressed 
upset and just going through the motions perhaps. So in the future energy moving ahead, we've got the Four of Pentacles, such a relief to see that. Eight of Cups and the um, Knight of Pentacles as well, really relieving cards in the path ahead. So whatever this last week has been for you or whenever you're connecting to this reading, like the energy you've been moving through now, although it looks like you're extremely exhausted and maybe absolutely no idea how to move forward, the advice here is to just keep things quite practical, save your energy, save your time. Be careful with the people that you surround yourself with, the energies that you surround yourself with, even the food that you eat, the things that you watch and listen to. Four of Pentacles is a bit of a conservative card and it does ask you to find your balance. There's something here as well for some people you're feeling like you're starting over again. Um, in, maybe in life or you know however this speaks to you but I, there's this element of needing to get a solid foundation within yourself uh, and go from there and I feel like you may need to just sort of pull things back a little bit and um, withdraw from certain connections or certain behavioral patterns eight of cups here as well is an indication of leaving something behind you're you're definitely to do with the emotional realm something that you've maybe struggled with for some time you're needing to leave that behind and have a solid plan about moving forward and making your actions moving forward very grounded and practical uh, and showing up at a routine where you're showing up at it every day maybe even using those words show up to really remind you every day um, to continue walking forward in whatever direction that is away from away from this chaotic situation or toxic situation or unhealthy situation whatever that is um, but you're needing to have someone that you can rely on and you're needing to be that person for yourself you're needing to be reliable for yourself here um, and the only way to really build rebuild that strength that you are there for yourself and you can rely on yourself is by showing up every day um, and unplugging from this situation maybe you're for some people getting a lot of youtube readings or something on a specific person and you're really needing to stop maybe engaging with those readings so much but looking rather connected with the readings that talk about what blessings are coming your way or um, something to do with your own personal growth and prosperity rather than about continuing to feed into any energy into this old situation that you're liberating yourself from I feel like for some people you're being forced to be liberated from you didn't want to for some people um, and you weren't perhaps some people didn't feel like they were quite ready for this situation but here you are and you're needing to keep walking forward and just have faith and become someone that you can rely on that's for not everyone but I just feel like you're needing to heal a certain something within yourself or maybe you've let yourself down somewhere here or maybe you're feeling like everyone else has let you down and so you're really needing to shift that by being that reliable person for yourself having a steady plan and, and um, taking some practical action towards away from this I feel like when I, when I go to say towards I keep getting this on like towards what so I feel like some people are not sure what you're even heading towards you just know that you're heading out of this um, and that's enough right now so the challenge I feel like it's a sad challenge because we've got the Ten of Cups and Nine of Pentacles and the Star. So the, you may be walking away from a marriage, from something that all of your emotional fulfillment was wrapped up in, something that you've given your all to potentially for some people here. And you're having to find independence and move away from this situation that you thought had all of your happiness there and start something out on your own. And with the Star card in the challenge, it's like you're having a real struggle with finding optimism and a renewal of, of faith in the universe and in life in the path ahead so it's like there's maybe for some people you feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel um, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel it's just you can't see that yet and you may be a bit self-sufficient in this situation withdrawing from a lot of people I feel like for some people connecting to this that not everyone around you is um, going to be supportive at this time and that's okay just take space from them you don't you just pick your audience I feel like this is specific and not for everybody but there's someone out there that needs to really pick their audience um, when it comes to sharing their troubles or their feelings um, you know, just share it in a safe place where you're not going to be judged and that the space will be held for you rather than you know what the opposite is <laughs> whoever that's for right um, but definitely needing to seek some sort of support here as well and not go at all by yourself 
I feel like a lot of this is um, like a shed, a shedding of a skin though that can only be done by you at the same time. Um, but anyway, we've, we've, the challenge is having a bit of optimism and hope for the future. But what will help with that? Six and seven of pentacles, a progression. So being finding more balance and being more generous to yourself, I'm feeling with the six of um, pentacles. This is also seeking out help and assistance from other people it is a charity and a generosity card so maybe linking in with some counseling services might be really beneficial for you or any type of therapies that could support you in your growth moving forward and looking i feel like you need to surround yourself in the type of support that's going to be um that's going to help you with the bigger picture and, and the long haul not 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 a quick fix sort of thing but you're needing to like really like all this four of pentacles, knight of pentacles, six and seven, like you're needing to really invest in yourself here and invest in the good and healthy life that you'd like to see unfold for yourself, but also surround yourself in people that can help you achieve that goal. Um, following different mentors that are in places where you'd like to see yourself, um, getting inspiration from other people who have walked the path that you're walking now. Um, seven uh sorry we've also got the nine and ten of swords here six and seven of pentacles nine and ten of swords mm, you need to get out of your own head really quite badly i think for some of you you need to get into your body and, and like just take some sort of practical action that's why having a daily routine that you show up for every day is so important to redirect your energy flow your emotions your attention your mind and everywhere every all the all the thoughts that you have every day there's so many of them so and try and train some of those to start wrapping around a different routine and, and, and a new focus because you've got you're definitely severing something that get, brought you a lot of anxiety um sleepless nights a lot of worries and fears and all of that energy could have and should have and would have been going into yourself and your health and taking care of yourself so you i feel like I, still, I don't know if I've mentioned this already in this reading, but I feel like you'd split in two sometimes. Um, yeah, where you, I just feel like you've, yeah, I think I did say that. I feel like sometimes your fears really get the better of you. And, um, but you also know that like you can perhaps, you know, maybe not always so consciously aware because it might override for some people, but a lot of you out there, I feel like you do, catch yourself and you are aware when it's just the fear stories running and that you can sort of counter that with some positive affirmation and, and taking some practical actions to get yourself out of your head and into your body maybe just taking a walk or doing some housework or something like just very mundane but keeping yourself busy and maybe a little bit of gratitude prayer as you get into it and like just it's, it takes a bit of effort it takes a bit of showing up and it takes a bit of trying each time but eventually you rewire um these pathways and, and comfortable patterns that you've created and especially if you're looking at or obsessing on the past or looking at YouTube readings to check out someone else's feeling um, when it's out of your control and it's needing to be surrendered uh, yeah so just the simple choice to perhaps redirect your intention and energy into something a bit more healthy and leaving the past behind because there's something that's being severed here and a lot of it is to do with your thought processes and the way you connect to the situation the way you um, I feel like sometimes you're, you, yeah, some, some of the choices you're making will help you unplug and you know what they are, you know when you're holding on, you know when you're attaching and you know what you need to sever, I do feel. So uh, more guidance on what will help, exactly that. We've got the chariot, four of cups and the king of wands. I'll just go through the signs we've got here. There aren't many. We've got Aquarius, um, Virgo. Cancer, Aquarius, Virgo, and Cancer is here. Doesn't matter if it's you or not, it's all good. So we're moving forward with confidence when we see this chariot card. We're getting, a, this, is, this is further guidance. You're, this is what Spirit's asking for you to do. So instead of feeding into the fears and the worries and, and creating more of, um, more of emotional turmoil for yourself, I wanna say, um, making a healthy choice to move forward and stop dwelling on what hasn't worked because there's a golden opportunity in your future in your in your now you grab it now and it'll be there um this this you're needing to really move forward with confidence grab those reins with two hands and overcome this challenge that's this challenge is dwelling in what hasn't worked out this challenge is um in sadness um 
and uh, perhaps even overlooking the small blessings that are available to you in everyday life uh, because connecting to gratitude and acknowledging what is good is where your power is and I feel like you get that power back when you overcome this challenge of sadness and dwelling on what hasn't worked you step back into your power here and become a bit of a leader in your own life and you follow your own vision this king of wands is often somebody who's very connected to nature as well so um, getting back out into nature and looking after yourself on all levels I think it's going to be really supportive for the vision ahead that you have um, and stepping into leadership roles and so maybe it's like you're not having a lack of self-belief here and you're needing to really believe in yourself and and stop focusing on what hasn't worked see them as lessons and rise to the challenge here so outcome and how this all unfolds for you we've got the fool is on the bottom of the deck so you know taking a leap of faith here uh, into a brand new situation or territory new life new everything new self new opportunities explore what you haven't explored before there's something you haven't done yet and it's waiting for you to go and walk into it's just it's hard to see that for some people right now that it feels like it's a bit too far off in the distance but anyway we've got the five of swords the hermit and the magician here so while there is a a situation that you're leaving behind with the five of swords with the very little closure perhaps you're giving yourself I feel like you're giving yourself that closure within this situation and some of you have no choice but to give yourself that closure and you can do um, you can very well do that it's a matter of fight knowing that the answers are within you and that withdrawing from a situation and giving yourself a bit of time away from it you will be able to see your truth a lot clearer and remember your power with the magician here this is also utilizing all the resources that you have you've got so much wisdom with leaving something behind and then moving forward into what's next for you in a way that is really empowering and, and probably inspirational to a lot of other people as well so very little closure leaving something behind giving yourself a bit of time to rest and reflect and finding that truth inside yourself of what's meaningful to you where are your values what how do you want to show up who do you want to be there's a lot of big questions because this is a big change um, but you rise up into your power this is a new fresh place you end up the fool and the magician that's crazy that's crazy we started your reading with the three of swords so much despair and pain but we're finishing it with fresh new opportunities, fresh new eyes and realizing that there's actually so much of your own personal skills that, and tools that can be strengthened from this experience after a nice period of reflection and reconnection to self and source. Using that beautiful guidance, you'll move ahead with so much more personal power and knowing what is important to you, what's, what you do want, having had this experience very clearly display what you don't want. Um, so we'll go into a couple of Oracle cards first one up is intuition it's a beautiful card and it's exactly that follow your intuition and a lot of this what's unfolding within this situation um, may not make sense logically and you're having to just follow these this in a dark it feels yeah, like you're walking through a dark room at the moment and you're sort of just having to trust and that's okay so maybe a lot of ma affirmation and mantra is going to help ease your mind and your heart at that time so a bit of hand to heart practice to i'm exactly where i need to be this is exactly everything is as exactly as it needs to be um yeah this is happening for me so i have a bunch of cards as a new deck to share as well today i'm so excited about that we have Oh, okay, yeah. And it's, it's sort of self-love, but that wasn't the card. The card was negativity, but self-love is jumping out because that is what is needed right now. Negative feelings are a natural part of the human experience. Grief and anger are ordinary, healthy reactions to the loss of a loved one, to, miss, to someone mistreating you, or when life seems to be spiraling out of your control. When you are emotionally healthy, you can acknowledge your feelings without becoming stuck in a negative spiral. When a challenge comes along, many people have a default mechanism that automatically goes to the worst case scenario. For example, you could become overly concerned with a small mistake at work will cost you your job 
or that thoughtless comment will end a relationship and you will end up for lonely forever. One of the best ways to heal negativity is to focus on the positives. And we've already discussed that heaps here. It's a really note about letting go of what hasn't worked and reaffirming your power, your vision for the future, who you are, who you want to be, and that everything isn't how it's meant to be right now. There's so much for you to learn from this situation. You will only have growth from it. So yeah, it's baby steps here to bring about this healing. Your every thought, word and behavior has a huge impact on your overall health. So take steps to consciously monitor your pessimism and interrupt your negative thoughts with positive ones. It may take time, but you gradually will train yourself to let go of the negative. You can reprogram yourself to be in full control of your emotions and make healthier choices to remain upbeat and positive. So definitely acknowledging the certain actions you do. And I do feel for some people, it's um, certain YouTube readings that they need to stop watching. Um, and I think we all find ourselves there from time to time. But especially notice how does it, does it make you feel any better halfway through? Probably not. So go and do an action that reaffirms the beauty in your world. However that might show up. Maybe it's just a cup of tea in the garden. Maybe it's just a little music and dancing. Just anything else anything else we've got awareness no matter what is happening in your life right now spirituality can assist you in making sense of what is going on it can help you to find perspective or give meaning to your purpose how aware are you in your spiritual well-being when you're face facing a crisis having a strong spiritual foundation is valuable that's what the that four of cards wants to talk about having that strong foundation within yourself and that's done through practical routines and actions and showing up and being reliable be yeah out of the head into the body all right um, knowing there is a bigger picture that is yet to be revealed can bring you support and comfort the ability to pray meditate or visualize during a difficult situation will ease your mind and assist you through it absolutely having faith that everything is unfolding exactly as it's meant to and it may look chaotic right now but it's it's for a greater reason. All right, what self-love prompts are going to assist you? First, that was the heart chakra. So you're needing to be gentle with yourself. You're, this is, I feel like there's, with all these cards here as well, as soon as I saw this, it's like you, you've got a big, big pain in the heart space. And I feel like that's just needing to, a little gentle care and a little time to heal. Wake up early, aim to wake up earlier in the morning to chase your dreams, but it's also having a nice daily routine. Um, morning routine help you feeling successful and sometimes that's like just making your bed little things like that actually do add up they make the bigger thing attending to the chores maybe decluttering or something might, might make you feel a little lighter and, and ready to receive a bit more open space in your home and maybe reflective of what's in your heart space if you're carrying something pretty heavily but you're feeling a call to declutter your home it's a really good time to do it and engage in that because you're wanting to release something else as well use essential oils i feel like that really does team up with the heart chakra card of just being gentle with yourself connecting with flower medicines and maybe even tea as well like healthy teas for your gut health but um yeah oils are beautiful to work with as well aromatherapies take a vacation now that this is not going to be possible for everybody and that's okay part of this card is also about breaking a routine and doing things differently so if you have been repeating an unhealthy pattern like youtube readings cut your screen time take a vacation from that pattern do something different break the routine find a mentor find a mentor in your field and help you reach your goals faster wellness mentors career-based mentors all different types the people that inspire you follow them and level up start small start today just start the sky's the limit you've got what it takes to liberate yourself from the situation it's just you're in the wounded warrior energy at the moment i feel you will you've got what it takes to persevere and just, just last push you've got it so these are the, the new deck that's come uh same creator as this one on Etsy so a powerful change will transform your life it's already happening you're shedding energies that no longer match your frequency you will be a great success but you will have to go through it to get there there's lessons to be learned be careful who you take advice from forgiveness sets you free it keeps you from hanging on to what was never meant to be learn to honor 
and treat your body well. Don't let people suck the air out of your spirit. You will find your place in the world even when you don't know how. Everything's exactly as it's meant to be. Let go. I mean, really let go. There's something better on the horizon. And don't spend too much time in despair. Move through the emotions and release it. There's a lot of wonderful ways that you can release emotion as well. Maybe it's a deep meditation or sometimes it's just a hand to heart, a bit of music and feeling and letting it come up, whatever comes up. You just, you do you. There's so many different things you can do, but do engage in some of these practices and let whatever comes up, come up and, and then release. And yeah, you, I think intuitively guided release practices are really wonderful, but it's also good to you know, we got that mentor card, maybe get a little guidance or advice from other people or other um, influence people in the wellness industry about releasing emotions in healthy ways and moving through them, not avoiding them for, for some people there. So I think that's all I have for you, group one. Oh, it's a bigger reading today. <laughs> I thought that might be the case. I'll leave it there for you beautiful people. I hope that gave some sort of comfort, clarity or guidance and I look forward to reading for you all again soon. Bye, group one. Hey, group two. And welcome to your reading if you chose the pink quartz heart. Then this one is for you. Group two, pink quartz is all about femininity and receptivity, softness, compassion, self-love, unconditional love, self-care. I get a big one from that one. Mothering, nurturing, and easing of the way forward, I feel, group two. All right, let's jump into your cards. So we're going to start out with a bit of past energy and jump straight in. So, all right, we've got the Empress, the Ace of Swords, the Five of Cups and the Magician. How did it all come out? How do I want it to be? Felt like that. Yeah. <sighs> okay, group two, the past energy. Looks like you've got a bit of clarity in a situation where you, maybe you've made a strong choice here to honor yourself. Um, so with this choice does come a little bit of sadness and I do feel like it's, uh, I feel like it's come to a point to release that sadness now, or you maybe you've already come to that point where you're choosing to rise above the situation and choosing to put the sadness behind you. Uh, and starting to look at the opportunity for growth that's actually available here, even if it felt like this has been a challenge or something that's maybe been a setback. It, you're starting to see that it's actually not a setback at all. And it's been an opportunity for you to rise up out of something that would have otherwise maybe sapped you of your light and your strength. There's certainly, um, certainly a very conscious choice or a series of conscious choices that you're making here to really better your life and look after yourself and stick to your truth and what you know and i'm feeling a little err about it at this time so you might be as well it's sort of like for some of you it might be something you felt like you could have should have or would have acted on a lot earlier but now is the time and that's okay you're exactly where you need to be you've come to this moment and you've made this choice i feel um, so this could be a leveling up in your work roles. It could be in clearing out of a relationship. Something that has brought you sadness is coming to an end or has come to an end. And you're really seeing your power within the situation now. Uh, and I feel like there's a lot of healthy choices that you've been making to help you cut through, uh, cut through the BS and find clarity. I feel like you've been doing a lot of cord cutting perhaps or cutting out unhealthy behaviors. I feel like for some people it's like your eating routine as well. Some people have been like trying to eat healthier to support your bodies better, support your mind better, but just cutting out anything that doesn't nurture you. There is, there is some sadness and, and along with letting go of the old, letting go of the old you perhaps, maybe letting go of a relationship. Chariot is on the bottom of the deck. So you've got the confidence to move through any challenge and pass this situation. I just want to clarify the five cups. I didn't feel that when I first pulled them, but now I want to. What do we got? 
page of Pentacles, Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's something about this that feels like there's there's a real opportunity for you to for growth and for prosperity if you if you commit to the path ahead or the choice that you've recently made to believe in yourself. Um, and some of you may feel a little disheartened by the idea of having to go back to square one or start again if that applies some people may feel like that's what's happening here for you strength that you've got what it takes to push forward um and have the willpower to persevere and really commit to the path and stick it out like if you've walked away from something keep walking um yeah yeah i see the i see the knight of cups i see the devil now and, and then the four of cups so it could have been a relationship or a person that's not been maybe they didn't have your best interest at heart or maybe you just weren't working towards the same goals and dreams There's, for whatever reason it's meant to be the way it is so we're moving forward we're looking at life with new opportunities and new eyes now i feel group two so it's like a lot of optimism is coming back in after after the recent events so the path ahead really reflective of that we've got the nine of pentacles lovers and the four of wands for some of you you're looking at buying your own home maybe somewhere off in the country a little bit more in nature or maybe you're looking to relocate to a different town or um, somewhere where you feel a little like you can go for healing or you can find your tribe there's, there's a real calling to a different place for a lot of you here for many others, it's for making adjustments and choices within your home or your life, your work, your relationships, wherever it is it's needed so that you can gain more independence and create the life that you want. Um, and I feel like having, having soul family around you and people with common ideas and dreams and goals is really important for you moving forward. I feel like you're really looking at the type of life you want to create and the people, the type of people you want in your world and in your community. And I feel like a lot of the choices you're making now on an internal level or within yourself and your own life are um, based in the desire to intentionally align with a more harmonious community or relationship or, or workplace. Um, and you know, I feel like you really know that the change starts with you and so that you really are showing up for yourself here in the, in the choices you make moving ahead. I feel like you're making really a healthy choices to connect with your abundance and, and create even more of it through gratitude and, and just taking care of yourself. There's really healthy choices in your future group too. I can see that here. Really like, oh, I feel so proud of you. So many, so many healthy choices and some of them would have been hard choices to leave behind something that's very painful and very sad or maybe it's the loss of somebody special. Maybe you're grieving the loss of a loved one or a family member. Like there's certainly, um, for, for certain people connecting to that, I feel like there's a strong um, connection with you and that person that's passed on and they do guide you quite a lot. Uh, and the, I feel like maybe for some people, this is not everybody, but there's someone out there who's someone who's passed on and you're, um, ever since they passed on your intuition has grown massively and it's because they're there guiding you and whispering to you and giving you the strength and courage you need to make certain choices cut in certain things it's like something's happened to give you what you've needed to make that step and believe in yourself and that support is ongoing that open dialogue with spirit is ongoing so you're falling, you're calling in soul tribe, soul family, or soulmate relationship for some people here. You're, you're, I can see that very clearly for some people in this reading. You're actually attracting a, a soulmate. It could be in a group of friends in that respect, but some people it's a special person to share your life with as well. Um, somebody who is, a, is yeah, really healthy for you and... Um, Yeah, I feel like it's something completely different to what you've ever known before. And that, that goes for all people and connected to this reading. Whatever it is you're attracting, it's, it's bigger and healthier and better than you've had before. And it's based in the choices you're making now to really step into your power, cut the crap you don't need in your world and step into your power and nurturing yourself, nurturing all areas of your life, your home space, your tummies your mind and the ways you think just everything <laughs> I'm really happy with it all right so the challenge my beautiful group twos 
Six of Swords. The challenge is leaving the past behind, I felt, when I saw this one. Leaving the drab behind, what's familiar, perhaps, as well. Leaving it behind and believing that there's something else out for you and not being distracted by the paths around you. I feel like there's going to probably be, for a lot of you out there, some offers and people wanting your attention and time and a lot of different things that want to pull on your attention. And it's maybe a lot of that's needing to sit in the back burner just for now just while you gain your steady legs or reconnect with self or whatever it is you're in right now, whatever, I feel like some of you is a bit of a bubble around you and you're needing to heal. But so the, what might be challenging right now is just staying the path, staying committed to the change, withdrawing from the situation, seeking the answers within yourself, not in your external reality or from people around you, but just really relying on you um and not repeating old cycles here is maybe the challenge and keeping a positive mindset so using affirmations and mantras to really reaffirm your power and where you're meant to be and that everything is exactly as it needs to be right now um and continue showing up working on what you're working on maybe it's your art your study your your work your home improvement your lifestyle improvement whatever it is just keep showing up keep showing up just stick to it <laughs> That's the challenge, is just not going back to the past, is the challenge. Uh, and allowing the way forward to ease as well. Allowing yourself to be assisted by assisting yourself and then watching that reflect in your external reality as within, so without. I feel, you, yeah, there's definitely a need for a bit of isolation, a bit of withdrawal time. Uh, one of the, yeah, it's right here, actually. The One of the oracle cards is go full introvert. Spend time alone to experience and appreciate and love yourself. Another one was love your single life. Again, your singleness is an opportunity to spend quality time with yourself. So trying new things to connect with you, maybe trying different arts and crafts you've never done before. Like get to know yourself in this period of time that you've got right now to be alone. If you've got time to do that. <laughs> I know everyone's in a different place as we connect to these readings, but I do feel like there's new ways you can meet with yourself and connect with yourself here. Maybe writing down and journaling a lot of what you've been feeling and feel thinking and recording your dreams. There's definitely messages coming through dreams at the moment for people in this group. Um, but also writing down, I feel like, the, the changes and the beautiful life you wish to see. Like writing down your dreams in that way, your, your daydreams, writing those down. Um, so what will help? with these challenges all right nine of wands the fool the hanged one so for some people i'm feeling like a bit of a personal glow up and makeover with the fool card for some people maybe you're wanting to change the way you dress maybe get your hair done differently just like expressing yourself differently that matches this new level of growth that you feel you've made um just trying out new things with yourself maybe it's your appearance maybe it's your art maybe it's your morning routine just trying new things with yourself is going to really help um and i feel like taking it easy and taking it slow is going to help as well at this time not rushing out too quickly into the world again if you're needing a bit of cocoon time i do feel like there's a beautiful offer that comes in for some people in this group like a friendship or maybe it's somebody who's just compassionate like a friend shows up when you really need them the most and or it could be a new love opportunity here as well with the king of cups it could be somebody who's just um you know ready to share love uh, but for the most part these did come together i feel like it is a friend who's here to support you or maybe even a therapist or somebody who um, you can look they're both artists here so maybe it's a friend of yours that you love creating art with that you get to catch up with or something like that um, or someone you know that they know how to work through mental and emotional um, baggage and trauma and I feel like as some people here there's a really powerful shadow worker in your life that you can connect with that really help you maybe you are that powerful shadow worker um, It'll be different for everyone here, but yeah, certainly I feel like um, there's support available to you and when you're ready or when it's the right time, that'll show up in your world. Um, but you're yeah needing to just surrender to the path ahead, allow it to unfold and view this from a really great perspective that this is happening for you. You are coming into a time of power in your life and the choices you're making or have recently made reflect that or will reflect that. You... Um, 
yeah, definitely try new things a morning yoga routine, right? Try that out. I think that's a wonderful way to connect with yourself, activate your body for the day as well, to drop out of the head and really, really activate your body is a beautiful yoga routine. Taking a nice walk, but also with the nine of wands, there's this, there is still the, a, a sadness or a reluctance to maybe to open up or share yourself with other people. Um, and trust that, trust that resistance. If you're not ready, that's okay. I feel like they want to tell you to trust that this time around. So normally I would encourage you to go and connect and open up, it's okay, drop, but yeah, you know, take your time is what I'm feeling, take your time. It'll all happen and as it's supposed to, and it will, I feel like it's a gentle unfolding. The choices you're making are causing it to be a gentle unfolding. You've known for a while now, whatever this situation is, I feel for a lot of you, you've known for a while it's gonna head this way or, oh, It may have been something you've maybe delayed the inevitable in this situation as well. That could be the case, but um, you're able to surrender to it, I think, a lot better than you may have in the past based on how you're processing or the, the, the sequence of events, how it's prepared you for this moment to truly release the fear and step into your power. But yeah, there's certainly um, a lot of emotional support that is available to you. And I feel like you should connect with that when you're ready. Um, and also viewing this, like really looking at this situation as well without regret or remorse or anger so much, but seeing it as a valuable lesson, um, even if there's so much pain in, involved in the situation, that it's actually a positive uh, or maybe there's, you know, you can see both positive and negative from this, from this situation somehow. All right. So what will, further guidance. We've, <laughs> this is brilliant. The world, the 10 of swords, two of the biggest ending cards in the deck, and then the six of wands. How is that? So you, it's time to really leave behind the old world that you knew and climb to success, climb to your victory, climb up out of the situation and really rise to all of your potential here. Put yourself out there and meet new people. If this is the end of a relationship, the guidance is to dust yourself off once you've finished connecting with yourself and you know once you're in the right place for that sort of thing, dust yourself off because I feel like there's a lot of offers around you that there's new opportunities if this is a work situation if you're leaving behind a job that no longer resonates with you do believe in the path ahead and what it is that calls to you keep making these choices to commit to your independence and the path you know to be right for you because it will be successful whatever you're leaving behind is meant to be left behind you've you've grown and learned so much from that situation though honor that and move forward with confidence because I feel like there's going to be some pretty swift changes for you and they're all quite positive. So how, how does it all end up? Outcome cards. We've got the beautiful Knight of Swords. This is, this is a quickening. Things are happening quite quickly. With that Eight of Wands. I swear I saw the Eight of Wands in this reading somewhere. I didn't. I think it's going to be a different timing for everyone, of course. There's so many people connecting. So... For some people it may feel like it's nothing much is happening for a while and you're just needing to honour that, that period of time to really connect with yourself and then everything will eventually go very quick. For other people it's going to be very quick, like as in it's unfolding now. Um, but just trust when the ball gets rolling, it's going to roll. Well, there's the Eight of Wands. <laughs> I was looking for it. It's from my hand. God. Okay. Um, <laughs> can't stop laughing at myself now. Um... <laughs> So yeah, there's a quicker thing. It's a it's a new this is a new recipe for success, and I feel like what you the difference here is you're allowing spirit to be your team on your team. You're like co-creating. You're working with spirit to make the life that you want. I feel like there's a lot of offers and opportunities that are opening themselves up to you, and things are going to move forward quite quickly. For some people, this is you're looking at travel as well. Um, you're looking to move forward either way there's so much here about moving forward there's a lot here about travel if that was a question for you you can expect that to unfold uh, and to be moving away or taking that trip if um, that was a question but yeah right there's a there's a lot to be learned from this situation I feel like in your um, in this beautiful period of time where you're really focusing on yourself and not being distracted by anyone else around you and other paths 
you're, you're going to gain a lot more clarity, information, answers and access to the wisdom inside you that's going to help you with moving forward as well. So really honour this silence, this maybe a void you feel like you're entering into. Um, it's a really important time. And things are going to progress. And I feel like you're doing things differently this time. And that's what makes all of the difference is the way you're handling everything now is uh more authentic and you're not afraid to make mistakes i'm feeling as well like you're willing to just put yourself out there and try and um bounce back all right so we'll go over to some oracle cards we've got we've got the goddess of oneness and this this is a message about somebody who's keeping their eye on you and this could be somebody who's um not quite in your world yet but for some people this is also like i mentioned before somebody who's passed on and is in spirit already that keeps their eye on you that watches over you and guides you um all the time so you're very connected to spirit and to this person but for other people this is somebody in your world maybe you haven't quite met yet or they're somebody who's very interested in you um that hasn't this could be someone from your past as well that maybe hasn't forgotten you and wants you to know that they, that you are on their mind um, and then we have Sea of Love. It's a beautiful card about accepting that even in negative experiences, there is an opportunity for growth and positivity here in this situation. And to reflect on some of the harder challenges and some of the perceived mistakes in life and, and really reflect on those and see how there may have been an opportunity for growth or how it could have happened for you. There's a need to not reflect on things so harshly um surrender the judgment to the on the past i'm feeling with this one surrender the sadness as well let it be what it is um and see that maybe there's a something you can gain from it something you can learn or a boundary you can strengthen or something maybe you know more about what you want based on what you don't want in this experience the other card we have is hidden blessings there is a gift in every adversity. Same sort of message, actually. Your love, intentions, prayers, good wishes, and realizations are held in the consciousness of the universe. This energy circulates around you and may act as a source of comfort to you. Additionally, it may show up as nourishment, wisdom, and teachings. You may draw on this energy whenever you are in need. This card brings an important reminder that you are not alone. Whether you need encouragement, support, or wisdom, you can draw on the teachings of others. Adjust yourself through the frequency of their messages. The greatest blessings are the ones that are hidden within you. Your love and your heart will continue to grow until you attain happiness, healing, love, and enlightenment. This card expresses peace, calm, and trust through the color blue and signifies a friend showing up in the time of need. There you go. Every situation has a gift, even the darkest hour. There is a blessing. Uh, it may not yet be in your awareness, but it is there. So yeah, looking at even the past, perceived mistakes and pains as a, as a blessing in disguise. All right, so we've got our self-love prompt decks and there's a new deck here as well. I'm so excited to use it, it's so good. So we've got ground yourself, maybe taking a walk, but keeping out of your head if you're overthinking bit of anxiety just dropping into your body grounding yourself maybe a yoga practice or maybe just doing some housework or whatever it is just bring yourself back into this present moment meditate maybe guided meditations as well maybe some fun ones that help like adventure sort of ones as well not so serious all the time but maybe there's a lot of playful ones out there i know there's on youtube a guided meditation for a mermaid adventure obviously it's not for everyone but there's like step one two and three so you can go back and listen to the extended of that story but it's it's good to go into the more playful fantasy ones sometimes because i feel like it can one it tickles our inner child but two i feel like it opens us up when we're trying so hard to receive a message of when we you know go into these meditations with intention sometimes we can block it whereas if we're just going in there for the intention to have fun we can really open ourselves up to goodness knows what type of messages or symbols or whatever comes through. Just don't try, have fun and then that, yeah. For some people, I feel like meditation might be a challenge for you as well. Not everyone, but 
you know, a lot of people do find it a challenge because we're trying to obtain some idealistic version of what meditating looks like or should feel like. And a lot of the time it's just retraining your mind to bring it back to that simplicity and open up a space within yourself. Avoid gossip and negative negativity or thinking or talking about other, anything like that. Don't engage. It brings your vibe down. You don't need it in your life. Leave, leaving the past behind to be what it is as well uh, for that one you know if something didn't work out then just it, yeah again we're looking at things from a more positive perspective and when we're reflecting on the past how did it help you grow or what can you learn from it rather than shunning it as a nasty experience and leaving it at that i mean sometimes we need to do that too though but there's always something to be learned <laughs> okay so love your single life um your singleness is an opportunity to spend quality time with yourself the colors you wear i feel like that's pretty good with this oh, oh, oh full oh my goodness full card i feel like trying new things like with your wardrobe your appearance might make you feel um different new fresh whatever play with play with the, yourself in that way trying on different colors or different styles your root chakra very resonant with the ground yourself message if you find yourself up in your head a bit too much as well or really working on the higher chakras to remember to just be present and there's a lot to be gained from the most seemingly mundane of events <laughs> root chakra also connecting in with um i know root vegetables and root teas are really good for this as well but connecting in with like-minded friends and people that really ground you and help you feel like everything's okay and support you in the here and now bounce back don't give up all is not lost bounce back keep on trying go full introvert we saw that one before with the love your single life so spending time alone to appreciate and love yourself and find a mentor find a mentor in your field who can help you reach your goals faster and then i have these beautiful amazing cards all right these are pretty full on back <laughs> and they're all talking about one thing so um, let go. I mean, really let go. There's something better on the horizon. You will be blessed with more than you could ever imagine. Don't lose yourself trying to hold on to someone. It was a necessary ending so that you could pursue the life you're destined to lead. Leave the past behind. You will have financial security in life. Let go of the idea that you're not ready. You will be a success, but you will have to go through it there to get there. There's lessons to be learned. Good luck sometimes comes disguised as bad luck. There's always a blessing. There's a hidden blessings in things, right? And all the right things will come to you in the most unexpected ways. Hidden blessings. <laughs> all right, group two, I'm going to leave that there for you beautiful people. I hope that gave you some sort of comfort, clarity or guidance. And I look forward to reading for you all again soon. Bye, group two. Hey, group three, and welcome to your reading if you chose the pink banded agate. Then this one is for you. Um, so group three, we're going to jump straight into the past energy for your reading. You've got a lot of major arcanas in this reading, actually. I should go through them. We've got Taurus, uh, Leo taurus again uh leo again taurus and leo quite strongly here we've got sagittarius as well uh gemini is here libra did i say libra taurus virgo capricorn perhaps all right i should do it if it's you it's okay if it's not it's all good it doesn't matter too much all right so past energy we've got the Hierophant, the Strength card, Four of Pentacles, Five of Swords. So this to me looks like a deepening of your commitment to the path ahead. Even if the path ahead is new and a little bit scary, it feels like you're making some pretty big changes and it's calling on you to be a bit courageous to do that. <clears throat> you may be leaving something behind uh, or not engaging in something that is wasting your energy or your time or you're just not passionate about it anymore. Um, is certainly a redirection of your interests or your attention or um, your your goals I guess as well you may be breaking free of a tradition. first thing I saw when I saw the strength card running away from the Hierophant 
And so for some of you, you may be leaving behind a marriage or some sort of work commitment or it could be anything really, but you feel like you're making, you're breaking the mold or you're creating a change here. You're breaking away from an old routine perhaps as well, but you're using some really solid wisdom when you're moving forward here. Like you've maybe you've just acquired some wisdom or maybe you've remembered something that you know to be true um that you haven't acted on for a while perhaps i feel like it could be a little different for everybody but you're you're strongly needing to um do a stock take i'm feeling here for a lot of you you're needing to do a bit of a stock take and what you've got and what you want moving forward what you don't want moving forward um, this includes your routines or your finances, things like that. So saving your money, saving your time, not sharing too much with the outer world at this time, I would say. For a lot of you, you're needing to just sort of, yeah, do a bit of stock take, maybe even a bit of spring cleaning for some people. Just, um, yeah, looking at what you've got and what you want moving forward here. You're, you're wanting to, I feel like you've already made some changes to break free of something that you may have been committed to for a long time. Um, and it feels just like the right thing to do. There could have been a bit of competition or energy, just there's something about what you're running away from. I don't know if running away is the right word, but whatever you're moving away from, having the strength to break free from maybe. Um, something about it seemed fruitless like a waste of time or just like the way it was headed or the way it was being dealt with or there's something about what you're moving away from that was a, a drain on your resources I'm feeling and you're and it's the right choice whatever you made, your choice you made to protect yourself your resources your energy your time whatever it is it was the right choice because moving ahead we have exactly that <laughs> the six of wands the lovers and the fool card so this is a leap of faith and a choice that you've made to try something different to try something new to break the mold to leave behind tradition to um test out your new muscles perhaps i wanted to say spiritual muscles for some reason so some of you might be going through a pretty big awakening and you're it's causing you to make changes in your life, right? And you're needing to test this new self out. I think there's a lot of a new self is being emerged here for some of you, is emerging. Um, a new life, a new job, there's something here, you, you've made a choice to, and you, you're being asked to commit to that choice now uh, and believe in yourself. Some of you are looking to move house to a different place. We've got a for sale sign here on this house. Maybe you're looking to move to a different area that's definitely supported whatever choice you're making to do something different it is supported and it will be successful group three um, have that leap of faith and just trust that the choices you're making are in alignment with what's right for you with your destiny and a lot of it is intuitively guided for some of you it's just something had to give and so that you've made this choice um, it doesn't mean that it's an easy choice as well. It does feel like something you're leaving behind. Maybe this feels like a lack of closure or you may feel still bound to that situation for some people, potentially. Maybe it's your own uh, patterns or routines or comfortable cycles you've maybe repeated for some time that, you know, leaving that behind. Maybe what's going on here. But the challenge for you... It's interesting we've got the four of cups the three of wands magician and the page of cups so i feel like the challenge for you is seeing the results of all of your hard work and having to wait for them maybe a little bit so there's a resistance to waiting while things seem it's like you're it's like uh yeah there's a real need to uh, identify the blessings that are here now instead of waiting for them to come into your life because there are a lot of blessings here at your fingertips i know you're wanting to manifest something pretty big maybe it's a loving relationship maybe it's soul tribe and friends maybe it's a, a meaningful job that you can be of assistance and feel fulfilled doing that um, maybe you've got your art that you want to share this there's, there's something here you're there's something grand in your future you know that it's there you're working towards it and it might be just it's like for some people without that you are having trouble finding the happiness in the now 
um, and you're definitely being advised to not wait for some dream that's off in the future, but to bring it here in this moment now. Although some things do feel like it's not working out, Four of Cups is depicted here, three empty cups. So she's kind of glum and feeling a bit victimized or sad or just unhappy, unfulfilled. But there's a golden opportunity right here in the here and the now. It's a great depiction of it. Spirits splashing her with water to say, wake up and look around you. Although your dreams are grand in the future, absolutely, blessings are on your horizon. There's some things you need to go through to get there. And part of that is being here now and being grateful for this moment. There's a real presence that is needed uh, and a gratitude for the place you're in. Things are unfolding and you're just needing to wait for the timing of that. Divine timing is at play in this situation for you. And as part of it as well is perseverance and sticking to it continuing to save your money and your time, like really sticking to your choices that you know um, create the life that you want in the future, conscious choices. For some of you, you're, you're waiting for maybe an apology as well from a person or to make amends or to reconcile with somebody and you're feeling a little sad until that happens. For some of you, you will need to release this situation entirely and refocus all of your energy and attention back onto yourself and where it is that you can be at cause in your life and where you can create power, making choices to take a new path. If that person is meant to come back around, they will, but it's not for you to fret over or hold on to, I'm feeling. That's obviously not for everybody, but it does feel like someone's holding on to someone that's not come forward or they may be in a separation and then you need to allow that separation to be and just pull their attention back onto self for other people, it's it's waiting for the right person that, to come in and, and sweep you off your feet, perhaps, and be that loving partner for you, or someone to sh share and collaborate with your art with in your art with, or mm, friendship as well. There's a there's just waiting for the right friend circle. Maybe some of you are having trouble with your friend circle, and you're feeling like um, not everyone has is you know has your best interest at heart or is supportive to you in your dreams. So. Yeah, maybe feeling a little alone and isolated, but don't focus on that. Focus on what you have got because the magician is here. There's so much beauty in your life and it's definitely worth um, a little gratitude prayer daily, right? Hand a heart, maybe hand a womb. Um, not everybody needs a womb to connect to, connect to that. <laughs> All right. Um, where are we? Well, what will help with the challenge? So what's going to help with this? All right. Queen of, yep makes sense <laughs> queen of pentacles two of swords knight of swords and the eight of wands is here so in one hand we've got sort of feeling a little stuck feeling a little blocked with the two of swords extreme presence and beauty <laughs> with the queen of pentacles and then a lot of drive motivation curiosity and movement forward right so what is going to help i think is while you may be feeling blocked from what you truly desire for your dreams to manifest or whatever. You need to trust that you're on the right path to allowing that to unfold. You need to trust timing, I'm thinking for you now, group three has kind of come through quite strongly and to persevere, of course, to be present in this moment, to connect to your healing practices, to connect to mother nature, getting outdoors, healthy cooking, like spending more time cooking at home and, this is just a really introverted, self-caring queen, does not need a round of applause, but just gets onto it. She is the most abundant garden of all of the queens because she's there tending to it every day. She makes it so the grass is not greener with this queen. It's green right where she is because she's here, present, tending to it with a beautiful smile and gratitude in her heart. So what is going to help is to be here now, connecting to earth, connecting to all of the things that nourish your body and your mind even though you may not know the direction forward or you feel a little pulled in one direction, head and saying one thing, heart saying another thing. Trust the choice that you've already made. Your intuition guides you strongly and what will make that intuition even stronger is these more practical actions of presence, being here now, um, connecting with nature. So tending to your literal garden, maybe also tending to your belly with good food. I think I've said all this just before. Um, a yoga practice to bring you out of the head and activate your body for the day, like really nurturing yourself truly. Um, it'll help you know the way forward. It'll help the information flood in for you. It'll help you make st strong decisions with conviction and it will help trust in the timing of things because I do feel like once you do, uh, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a real 
oh, way of being. I feel that you, you're just all you need to worry about is embodying this new way of being or embodying this truth and just really just coming into presence and then letting spirit work the rest out for you is a big, big factor here. I mean, some of it will mean um, learning new things and engaging and connecting with other people that really inspire you, maybe finding a mentor or looking at people that are in a position you'd like to get to, whether that's with their um, self-care and wellness or whether it's within their business and their, their career choices, whatever it is, find that mentor and, and actually learn from them or be inspired by them for some people. Collaboration and connecting with others is important to you, but I do feel for some of you, we, there will be like a shift or a change in your social circle, whether it's an actual relationship or, um, a, or a whole group of people, maybe a teamwork situation, but there's a change happening. And I feel like new, new and more resonant people are coming into your life down the track. Some people have to go. You'll know if that's you and who they are. You will know. Um, but yeah, trust that the, everything will start to unfold and move forward quickly as you start to make some choices and commit to those choices. Commitment to the choices is a big one I'm thinking here. Even if it's like simple, keep it simple in fact. There's something you, you need a solid foundation underneath yourself right now. And I feel like you've already done what it takes to, to start to form that. And now it's just needing um, reliable reliability you're needing to rely on yourself by showing up all right so further guidance ten of swords empress eight of swords and three of cups it's a pretty big combo here we're certainly leaving behind anything that doesn't nurture this empress and when i saw this i just felt happy i felt relieved and and like excited for the new growth that comes with an ending so that might be where you're at or maybe you're being asked to embrace the ending because it'll bring you so much more growth and um, nurturing it may be the healing within your own um, mother connection that doesn't have to be your maternal mother here but it could be also how you mother yourself how you parent yourself um, and really like even discipline yourself in certain ways as well um, in a lo in loving ways yeah it's really working on your own mother relationship to self i'm feeling that's for, for a lot of you here but but this is obviously also the ending of a different situation that then brings you into a place where you can nurture yourself more and feel less trapped there's something in, in your maybe it's the way you connect with people or a belief you have around friendships that um, leaves you feeling less than or powerless but you've actually you're actually not at all and I feel like the ten and eight of swords it's like you're really ending this feeling of stuckness and how you do that is by honoring yourself by really making healthy choices for you for you for your body for your mind and all that you intake all that you surround yourself in friend circles for some of you you do feel trapped to certain friend circles or relationships and through honoring yourself maybe you'll sort of um, you know elevate out of that outgrow those situations for other people it's um through honoring yourself that you will start to align with the right people for you the right relationships and friendships and people that support your dream i feel like it's important to celebrate how far you've come as well and acknowledge like even like some of the bigger trials you've been through here like this actually are really important all of a sudden i feel like because i'm just catching that strength card and i think spirit really wants to acknowledge something here for a lot of you probably all of you you'll know who um that you, a choice you've made or something you've been through has been so grueling i'm feeling and so like you really ought to be proud of how far you've come at this point to be here now at this moment and all that you've come from because it's big. I'm feeling it's massive and you really need to celebrate that and like acknowledge like totally. Woo, like, oh, it's getting a bit serious in here. You really do need to acknowledge how far you've come and the strength that it's taken for you to get to this point. Yes. All right. <laughs> moving right along here we've got the world and the three of pentacles nine of cups temperance it's nice pretty nice combo and this is the outcome energy so you're entering into a whole new world 
a whole new world you're leveling up this is a graduation type card it, it, when you see the ten of swords in a reading as well and by the way all three piles i think this week and last week had ten of swords so it's collectively we're going through this shift together one way or another you may have felt pulled to numerous piles in this reading but this is it's because they're all going through big changes and we're releasing what no longer fits in our future, what no longer, f we're shedding skins, what no longer serves is falling away when, through our own conscious choices. And for some of us, it's out of our hands, but the changes are happening. And it's an opportunity for you to step up into the new you, the new life that you wanna see and really create that and draw in harmonious friendships and relationships and um, colleagues, collaborations, all sorts of things that help paint that picture in the world that you want to see or the life you want to see or the person that you want to be um, there's a lot of support around you uh, I can see that all through this reading and maybe for some of you that you just um, it, you're just on the edge of meeting people and you may feel quite isolated at this time of the reading um, but they are in your future keep committing and being that friend to yourself keep keep committing to the path because it, you will align <laughs> just leave it at that you will align but um, there may be the end of collaborations here for some people as well, like certain things coming to an end and you may have a little bit of anxiety about that, but you're being asked to surrender and let go and allow it to unfold as it's supposed to. For a lot of you though, I feel like there's anxiety around collaborating, like getting yourself heard or things not working out or maybe having just anxiety and fears around it and you're, you're needing to surrender that and allow this new you to emerge and all the wonderful beautiful people that you'll align to to, to co-create with you and work with you because I feel like the people you attract in your future are going to be extremely aligned like really resonant with what you're creating and what you're doing you'll find harmony is what I want to say you will find harmony you just need to let go, surrender, and, and get ready, get willing to make mistakes, get willing to make a mess, get willing to get a bit of paint on you. And like she's looking at this piece, like quite happy with the results. She's like, yeah, I did it. She's covered in paint and there's stuff everywhere, and that's okay. You know, it's like it's it's a messy process. Masterpieces are messy, so don't be afraid to get a little dirty, to get a little get a little juicy and creative and try new things here and collaborate with people that you may not have expected to collaborate with as well for some people all right let's go into the oracle cards for this group what have we got self-worth first card is self-worth you have a habit of undervaluing your talents and capabilities. This is due to a general sense of self, low self-worth, and yet there is so much that is wonderful about you. Many around you can see this, but somehow you don't. It is time to dissolve the distorted view you have of yourself, time to see your unique beauty and appreciate and value the real you. The following exercise will help increase your sense of self-worth. So place your hands over your heart, close your eyes and relax. Take a deep breath, inhale, hold the breath for a moment and gently release the breath. Continue breathing in this way and feel a soft golden light within the center of your heart. This soft golden light is the true and divine you. It is the unchanging light of unconditional love, a light which existed before the dawn of time and will continue to glow forevermore. Feel this divine light flowing into your body your mind, thoughts, and emotions. Allow it to illuminate your heart and mind. Allow it to embrace you. Repeat the following affirmations as often as you can every day, either out loud or in silence, or in the silence of your heart. Feel each word. When you're able to see your true worth, everyone will see it. The affirmations are, I am golden light. I am divine love. I am infinite worth. I am a channel through which the gold river of life flows. I am an ocean of pure gold. I am worthy of love. I am love. Oh, I love that. Yeah, you've got so much to offer. It's, I can see that here now as well. Like, so with the nine of swords and three of pentacles, like fear and what have I got to contribute or, you know, worried that you're, yeah, you've got what it takes, like trust in this new growth. Trust in this beautiful empress self. Keep nurturing yourself and just, yeah, trust in your t own timing and your own growth. Like, mm. <laughs> you know, flowers don't know how to grow, I don't think. I think they just do it. They just, you know, they just trust that each day a new petal will unfold. And that's the same as you. You're no different. 
the divine flower. Sincere relationships. Bring your awareness to the people you surround yourself with. Toxic associations can create stress, sadness, apprehension, and other negative emotions. It's important that you are honest about how you feel about your most significant relationships. This is not limited to romantic relationships, but may include an employer, a family member, or a friend who has a lot of influence in your life. Consider whether a relationship is causing you unnecessary stress. Is your social life a source of negativity? So yeah, Take the responsibility for your, your role in the relation in this situation and be clear on what you want. So yeah, having a look at what yeah, be exactly be really honest with your connections around you. And the, I did feel that here that some people there may be some people in your life that need to clear out and they will fall away if naturally, as long as you continue to nurture yourself and stand by your own truths. These things do just fall away naturally. So other times you need to have assertive boundaries, but yeah and it's kind of clarified here with clarify your desires cut through the confusion use your intuition to guide you be very clear about what you don't want in your life and you know five of swords is here as well cutting out the things that hold you back or unnecessary drama basically and the next card out was the six of wands once you cut that out you do climb to success once you believe in yourself commit to the path and make this choice to try new things to believe in you to to allow a new you to emerge things get really good and clear we've got home needs tlc give your home some attention redecorate clean or sage maybe it's a bit of this like spring cleaning clear out that cupboard or drawer donate the things that you no longer use clear a bit of space for some newness to come in because there is a needing for clearing here and that can help exercise love yourself enough to exercise and enjoy the glow of good health Expand your network. Link yourself to a network of people who do inspire you. Love your single life. Your singleness is an opportunity to get to know yourself and spend quality time with yourself. This is also good for people in a relationship to have that independence and not forget yourself. Have a relaxing bath. Adding bath salts or candles can help restore yourself. Your self-love and gentleness. Ground yourself. Getting grounded in your body and connect back to the earth so maybe some yoga uh, taking a walk a bit of healthy cooking housework all the sorts of things that bring you out of your head and into the present moment be very conscious about what you're doing reading uh, the more you read the more you'll learn maybe also the types of materials you're reading as well celebrate yourself you've come a long way take a moment to celebrate yourself that came through strongly here today absolutely you i think some of you need to like take yourself on a date or like a celebrate celebratory dinner or like buy yourself something that is a symbol of your growth and all that you've come through that really radiates the essence of your future uh or of your future self of your future home space maybe it's a pretty throw, throw cushion or something like anything i feel like there's something here you need to reward yourself with um you, maybe it's something you've eyed off for a while or maybe the idea is yet to come to you, but there's, there's something you can do, I think, that celebrates how far you've come. You deserve it. Get outdoors. Never get so busy that you forget to enjoy the outdoors. The Queen of Pentacles is a great advocate for that. All right, and there's this new deck we've got here today. It's so awesome. I love it. So let's go straight in. Embrace what you've learned and cherish your experiences because they are divinely fated. Oh, all the right things will come to you in the most unexpected ways. A new career path will be highly successful. Trust the magic of newness. That's big time here for some of you as well, leaving behind an old job or something. Like really, if, you've, if you're being encouraged to take a new path, a new career, whatever, try something different go for it you will be successful six of wands you will climb to victory you are on a journey of discovering your life purpose know that whatever decision you made was the right one you have intuitive ideas that you really need to act upon you will have financial security in life don't forget to fulfill your needs while helping others. New chapters require a new version of you. That one feels quite important. Um, 
Yeah. I think you need to really yeah, keep keep at it, like keep showing up at whatever these changes are that you're making because they will stick. It's just a perseverance thing. Got that a bit here. You will be a great success, but you have to go through it to get there. There's lessons to be learned. I feel like you're in the middle of doing that. Believing in yourself is the first step. All right, group three. I'm going to leave that there for you beautiful people. I hope that gave you some sort of comfort, clarity or guidance. And I look forward to reading for you all again soon. Bye, group three.